Good morning from Downing Street, where it's good to be back. And it's a crucial week for the Prime Minister. He is now just days away from elections that could decide his future. In a few hours, Boris Johnson will address the Ukrainian parliament. He will be the first world leader to do so since Russia's invasion and will announce a further £300 million of military aid, weapons that Ukraine's first lady has told this programme her country is incredibly grateful for. Mr Johnson may have been praised for his support for President Zelensky, but back home, pressure instead of praise is piling on the Prime Minister. I will be speaking to him here inside what the Labour leader, Sir Keir Starmer, has called the most fined workplace in Britain. But could more fines soon be landing on the doormat here at number 10 Downing Street? And not far from his front door, the issue of sexism in Parliament grew over the weekend with the resignation of one of his own MPs caught watching pornography in the Commons chamber. With allegations that bullying, misogyny rife in Westminster, what more must be done to prove all parties can clean up their acts? And away from the corridors of power, to a country facing a mounting cost of living crisis. Families forced to choose between heating and eating, struggling to cope with costs that keep going up. There are calls for the government to step up and do more. There are also concerns that those making the decisions do not understand the true impact of the crisis. Boris Johnson has many questions to answer when I speak to him live this morning for the first time on this programme in nearly five years. First, here's our political correspondent, Louisa James. I'm inside here in the number 10 study. It's a room where many prime ministers have celebrated victory or accepted defeat. It's known to many as the Thatcher Room because there is a picture of the Iron Lady sitting proudly above the fireplace. It is here where I will be after eight o'clock this morning. And it's my opportunity to speak to Andrew and Kevin because the seat is ready for him. And after eight o'clock, I won Good Morning Britain. Join me back here at number 10 Downing Street then. Yeah, Susanna, right, Susanna, for a moment, um, I thought you were in Andrew Pearce's lounge because <laughs> I know that you also have a picture of Margaret Thatcher. I... You've definitely gone to the right place, haven't you, Susanna? You're definitely at number 10. Can I just say, not only do I... Good morning, Britain, from inside number 10 Downing Street, where the Prime Minister will be joining me for a live interview this morning. I'll be interviewing the Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, live here on oh, Andrew's Lounge. Not only do I have pictures of me with Margaret Sat. Vadim Prishteko, who is Ukraine's ambassador. What impact is it having on you personally? You got an end in sight currently. You know, it's becoming more and more optimistic world that Ukrainians are starting each and every day, saying that today is 63rd. Success look like to you? Is it uh, accepting what Russia has already done, or is it total withdrawal? We pass this. Then to happen that Ukraine will force uh, Russia out of all regions. <sighs> How can the UK help? Are you? have donated a lot in aid. They have also opened their arms to Ukrainian refugees. However, the UK has not offered visa-free travel and there are huge delays. Well, Louisa joins me now. Um, Louisa, it's great to be back for me here at Downing Street and to be interviewing the Prime Minister. A lot of people say voters as we go into local elections. Well, the of course, you say that if the Tories do badly, that will be the tipping point, possibly, for Boris Johnson as leader. Yeah, and I think... One person we could ask, <laughs> and of course, he's behind the door uh, in number 10, and I will be speaking to the Prime Minister uh, live on Good Morning Britain after 8 o'clock. Louisa, thank you very much indeed. There is so much to chew over. Uh, and of course, um, a lot to talk about Ukraine. I will be speaking to the Ukrainian ambassador to the UK after 7 o'clock this morning. Um, the Prime Minister is after eight. That's our main news this morning. We'll also speak to the Daily Mail's Andrew Pearce and the Mirror's Kevin Maguire in just a moment. First, though, here's Ranveer with the rest of the day's news.